Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jordan and I am a 23 year old professional figure skater. So I did a thing, I bought a pair of inline skates and I am so excited because I have been thinking about buying these for probably six, seven months now. I saw everyone back in March skating in them during the first lockdown and since I couldn't skate at a rink obviously, I wanted these skates so badly, they looked so much fun, and for some reason I just sat on the idea for months and never bought them, until about a few weeks ago I was on the internet again and just decided to do it. So they came in the mail, I'm so so excited to use them and kind of show you guys the journey of inline skating for me because obviously I can do all my skills on the ice but roller skating is a totally different story. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to show you my progression and kind of look back on. There are a ton of different inline skate brands but after doing a lot of research I decided to buy these Snow Whites. I already had an old pair of boots from a couple years ago and my foot hasn't grown so I decided to just use those and I had my dad mount the frames on them instead of buying the entire skate because it was like almost a thousand dollars. So here are just my beautiful inlines. Obviously my boots are not painted tan because these were my competition boots not my show boots. I'm a size 220 so I don't remember what size snow whites I got. I will put it in the description but it shows you a chart on the website. I am so stoked to try these out. I have a good feeling I'm gonna be humbled very quickly. But yeah, before we hop into this video, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Follow all my socials if you feel like it. I do have a holiday giveaway coming very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get skating. So this is my first full day of skating in my new Snow Whites. I tried them on the day before and just kind of glided around my driveway briefly, but I didn't really have any space to try anything. So today was the first full day of edging, three turns, jumps, spins, the whole nine yards. Um, and honestly, it didn't go as bad as I planned. Um, I didn't really know how it would be because it's a big adjustment from regular blades. The wheels on the Snow Whites end right at the end of your boot, whereas a traditional figure skating blade goes beyond the boot. So I definitely had to adjust where my weight was distributed, but I definitely got the hang of it pretty quickly. Going from my traditional cheap little roller skates to these inlines was absolutely incredible. I got my roller skates from a garage sale for $2 and they had no glide to them whatsoever and these babies just flew. So I definitely love how much glide they give you and they are extremely comfortable of course because they are your normal skate boot. I have the Adaya Ice Fly but I know it works with other Adaya boots as well and I believe you can also mount it to a Rydell or a Resport boot. I definitely had quite a few slip ups and falls, but honestly, I had so much fun that it doesn't even matter. And really, there is no better way to learn than to fall. And I, oh.
something to you Maybe I just wasted my time You know, I have to say, I thought this would be going a lot worse. Of this inline skating journey I thought today would be the perfect day to practice because it's beautiful out it's like already 60 degrees and it's November so love that I wanted to take full advantage and also um, there's a park like not even two minutes from my house so I'm just driving there now and I'm gonna try and skate on the basketball court because that's usually really smooth I'm hoping to make some progress today Honestly, the last time I skated, it did not go as poorly as planned. Um, but I do want to work up to doing like single axle and doubles eventually and spins. Spins is the biggest thing that's so different. Moment of truth, people. Ah, there's nobody on the basketball court. Frick yeah. Awesome. Okay, so this is very good news. There's no never ending war at the limit of it all. We've been over this before. No more help down here to call. Push and pull and pull some more. Where's the bottom of these walls? I absolutely lucked out with the weather today. It was an absolutely gorgeous day. The sun was shining and it was about 60 degrees, which is, you know, unheard of for November. Today, obviously, I worked a lot more on my edging. I did get two jumps and spins as well, but I wanted to focus mostly on getting comfortable with doing crossovers and power pulls, inside edge, outside edge, just all your basics, because once you get comfortable with that, then you can move on to the more difficult tricks. And again, you know, I did have some falls, which were quite funny but I did feel a lot more comfortable today to gain more speed and try new edging. If you are a skater, then you can relate. There is nothing better than just putting your headphones on, jamming out to some music and letting your body move in whichever way that it wants to. And I do believe that these skates are perfect for that. It's really fun to just mess around and kind of make up choreo with the music in these. Looking back on these videos is so funny because if I was doing the same things on the ice, it would look a hundred times better, but you know, you have to start somewhere.
successful day um, I'm definitely getting more comfortable with it jumps are still pretty iffy and going backwards crossovers are easy but like edging and stuff like that is definitely still pretty tricky I'm still brand new to it I just have very high expectations for myself which I need to learn to chill on but I will check back in the next time I skate maybe tomorrow depending on the weather but yeah So this day was filmed actually like five days after the previous time I just showed and I did actually go to a roller rink in between last session and this session but I didn't do any tricks I literally just skated around in circles so as you can see I'm definitely getting more comfortable on these blades I definitely felt more comfortable and I definitely look more comfortable. You can see that I don't look as apprehensive to do a mohawk or a three turn. So definitely getting the hang of it. I have a long way to go, but I am happy with my progress thus far. And I'm just hoping that the snow can hold out for as long as possible in Buffalo so that I can keep getting a lot of use out of these. I do alternate skating in these with the days that I go to the rink because the balance, like I said before, is much different. So there is an adjustment from going on the pavement to the ice. I would say I have pretty good body awareness, but these inline skates have really helped with my body awareness because you have to be more careful when you are skating in these. I think down the road you won't have to, but because it is still very new for me, I am much more aware of where my body is going and and really just feeling my weight under my feet. Will you still be
still be here, na na na, na 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 na. Will you still be here, na na na, na 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 na. Will you still be here, na na na, na 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 na. Will you still be here? No, so we're not gonna be. of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle and kind of get a grounding for inline skating. Obviously I have a lot of ways to go. I have a lot of work to do but I do think that I made some good progress in the first few days. My end goal is to be able to do doubles in them. I don't know if that's gonna happen but I guess we'll just keep working at it and see where it takes me. But if you guys are interested in seeing more of my inline skate journey, definitely let me know because I can film more of my progression and kind of show you how I improve. And I give major props to all the people who compete in inline skating. They make it look so easy. And coming from someone who is a literal professional figure skater, this shit is hard. So major props to them but that's all I have so thank you guys so much for watching I love you to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>